Okay, so my initial processing has finished and now I'm going to want to create a, a boundary to eliminate some of the extra area around my data set. So you'll notice here uh, I'm going to pop over into the ray cloud if I'm not already there and this button will be grayed out if you have not done the initial processing yet. But once you have, then that should be available to you and uh, I'm just going to go into the uh, ray cloud pull down. I'm just going to turn off the sky so we can see my data a little bit better. But here you can see uh, where my cameras were positioned and uh, how they, uh, in, and notice you can click the little button and it'll show you all the massive tie points here that it's generated on all my uh, different objects to try to stitch it together. But uh, you can take a look at those as well, but uh, also notice that if I zoom out, I've got all this residual uh, data that uh, was captured and I want to remove that so it's not included in the point cloud data when I'm finished. So by creating a boundary around my area of interest, that'll do a few things. Number one, it will decrease the processing time. Um, it will also create a resultant smaller point cloud file. And lastly, it will also uh, have me avoid doing excessive editing later because if I don't add in a processing area boundary, now I will have to go and manually exclude all this stuff later. So I'm going to add in a boundary uh, at the moment. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make sure I'm in the ray cloud and on my create toolbar I'm going to click my new processing area button and here I'm just going to stitch out uh, a boundary around my edge so I'm just going to come around and pick left click around my area make sure you're including the cameras okay so you want to exclude as much as you can but uh, uh, include all of your camera information in the boundary so everything outside of this boundary will be excluded from the processing uh, so pick your last point and when you're finished right click and that will define the boundary so it might look a little bit funny but you'll notice that uh, when I zoom out it did in fact uh, remove a lot of that excess excessive area uh, if you made a mistake, you can always come, you notice you've got uh, a point down here where you can uh, right click and remove that processing area if you want and you can also turn it off so you can you don't have to see it. Uh, and as long as you have that checked on when you start the processing, you should be good. Um, and that's it for the processing area. Uh, again, you can only have one processing area per model so uh, if you need to redraw just go ahead and don't forget to save the project okay thanks uh don't uh, forget to check out the next session which is adding in scale constraints to our model which will allow us to scale our model to a real world size all right thanks for watching everybody bye now